Balancing rotors and armatures is important to minimize the vibration. This vibration can cause reduced machine life as well as wasted energy. Finding the right balancer for your application is important because we want to find the best fit for you. This will reduce the runtime as well as give you more bang for your buck. Welcome to the Dynamic Balancing Channel, where we will be comparing the soft bearing and hard bearing balancing machines in eight categories, from cost to the types of supports. In the description below, you can find timestamps for each category, a link to the definition of soft bearing and hard bearing, as well as a full comparison guide. Make sure you stay till the end of the video, where we will give you five questions to help you decide which balancer is right for you. All right, let's get started. First up, cost. While both hard and soft bearing machines are similar in cost, requirements for an ISO calibrated test rotor and the specialized foundation can add significant cost to hard bearing machines. If you find yourself on a budget, soft bearing balancers might be for you. Next up, transportability. The design of the soft bearing balancers flexible roller work supports allow it to be moved to almost any location. Along with that, it can be relocated without the need for recalibration. Hard bearing machines, on the other hand, have a specialized foundation that make it expensive to relocate along with needing recalibration afterwards. Soft bearing machines are well suited for anyone who wants to move their equipment on site to the customer location. What about versatility? Hard bearing machines are typically used to balance similar rotors. This is because swapping out the pedestals or the rollers can have a significant setup time. Soft bearing machines, using the trial weight method, are self-calibrated to each rotor. This allows for added versatility in the range of applications that can be addressed. Next up is time. Hard bearing balancing can be a faster solution due to not using the trial weight method, as used with soft bearing machines. This can be a useful advantage in production environments with high volume part processing requirements. Soft bearing trial weight requirements can be mitigated with the use of one run calibrators. This automates the testing process. Next, we'll check out the balancing specs. Typically, balancing specifications are determined by the balancing instrument's software. This means it's possible for soft bearing or hard bearing machines to meet all specification requirements. Run speed. Soft bearing machines have full sensitivity over their entire range of speeds. Hard bearing machines, due to their rigid design, require faster speeds to meet their sensitivity requirements. Therefore, soft bearing machines tend to be able to balance at slower and safer speeds. Now, to look at how each would handle large initial end points. Due to the pendulum design of soft bearing machines, rotors with high initial unbalance tend to require additional balancing operations. This can include static balancing or balancing with the pedestals locked to restrict motion. Hard bearing balancing machines' rigid construction typically allows it to handle high initial unbalance without the need for additional balancing operations. For our last category, let's discuss rotor bearing supports. An advantage with soft bearing machines is the flexible design of the roller work supports. This self lining design allows soft bearing machines to use flat rollers, minimizing the damage to rotor journals. The hard bearing machine's design does not allow the self lining feature, and typically compensates with crowned rollers. These crowned rollers reduce the roller to journal surface contact, creating a higher possibility of damage over time. As a reminder, you can find the link for in-depth definitions and a full comparison guide in the description box below. Now, hard bearing and soft bearing both have their advantages and disadvantages. Either could be right for you depending on your application. So how do you find out? Well, as promised, here are five questions to ask yourself before choosing if soft bearing or hard bearing is right for you. Number one, am I in a service or repair operation where I see a range or variety of rotor applications? Number two, will I need to move the balancing machine at some point in the future, either for on-site balancing at the customer's location or even within my shop? Number three, have I included the foundation requirements for hard bearing machines within the scope of the bid cost? Number four, do I work in a company or environment where balancing at a slower, safer speed would be an advantage? Number five, do I foresee a future need to expand the balancing machine through upgrades to address a wider range of rotor applications? These questions should give you a good starting point on deciding which balancer is right for you. If you're in a high volume, low rotor variety operation, such as manufacturing and production, maybe a hard bearing balancer is best for you. If you're in a low volume, high rotor variety operation, such as repair or service, maybe a soft bearing balancer is best for you. Either way, I hope the information that we've gathered in this video helps you in your decision. If you'd like to learn more about balancing, check out our videos here on the Dynamic Balancing channel or our blogs on shop.irdproducts.com. Comment below if you have any questions, and as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.